Fedora is installed, you should get a message that says to reboot. Your disk should pop out, and we're going to click the reboot button. Okay, so now it's re it's rebooting. And uh, we'll get the screen come up. It's going to reboot. We've got to do a few things now when we um, get loaded back up. All right, so a few things left to do, and then we're we're done. So this is just to let you read. Again, this is the GNU or GPL licensing agreement, general public license agreement we talked about before. Okay, username. <clears throat> now put in your name here. Put in a password you're going to remember. Okay. And we'll okay and forward okay and we'll just do the defaults and we don't need to send this information and we are almost there now one thing to know about uh, Fedora is you log in as your main user and then the root user will pop up so occasionally when you need it. So it is a re initializing the um, logon screen at this point. Okay, and uh, in a minute we will be set to go. So it is loading. And we're going to see some taskbars and things on the side, and it's going to look very similar to uh, using Windows. And, uh, okay, so we're ready to log in. Going to put in our password. Okay, and here we are at the, the main screen. You'll notice um, there's a bunch of menus at the top, and that can all be customized. Um, that's beyond what we're going to do at this point. Here's all our applications. I'll talk about that in a little bit. And basically, we can go and log out. And we're done. So congratulations, you've uh, successfully installed Fedora. So at this point you should go to the next activity which is to do just what we did in the video and create your own virtual um, fedora. Alright, so this has been a Funky Video production. This is John Funk. Remember, be careful out there and stay cool.